How's it going guys? NASCAR 21. We got gameplay footage. We have wind speed, wind direction. I mean, there's a ton of things. I just recorded my reaction. So we got a lot of things to talk about. Um, but yeah, I recorded my reaction. We're going to show that first and then we're going to break down the trailer. Guys, we just hit 100 patrons as well on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. We got six new ones. Garen, Alan, David, Nick, Evan, and Andrew. Thank you guys so much. David, you are actually patron 100. So thank you guys so much. Um, you guys are massive, massive support. That's huge. Seriously. Also tonight, watch on Twitch. All right, go follow me on Twitch. Tonight, 830 Eastern is the NASCAR Weekly Podcast 400. You guys might know with Darian, Eric, Jared, and Danny B. Uh, so that will be tonight uh, at 830. Uh, and I will be racing for confirmed at least $600 for the winner. So yeah, it might be more. I don't even know what the final price is. I'm not really doing it for the money. I'm there to put on a show. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. That's going to be on iRacing tonight, 830 Eastern. I don't want to waste any more of your time because you're here for NASCAR 21. Here you go. All right, guys, here we go. It's going to be my first time watching it. I have watched the first five seconds because there's music and I don't want to go through the copyright incident again. So I have the first five seconds muted. But this will be my live reaction. I haven't seen this. So uh, let's see what happens here as soon as I can unmute it. I do know when it like stops. So right, right about here. Okay, here we go. So let's turn that on and see what we got. Hi there and welcome to a behind the scenes look of NASCAR 21 Ignition. This will be a three episode series giving you the fans a sneak peek at the process of building this game from the ground up. Here at Motorsport Games, we want to create the most authentic racing experience. <laughs> they still use screenshots even in the videos. We're always striving to make Indian cars drive as realistic as possible. And in NASCAR 20, oh, hello. Mission, we are making that a reality. Moving to the Unreal Engine gave both the development and art teams the power to create better games, making it the best fit for Motorsport Games going forward. Today, we're going to take a look at the cars in NASCAR 21 Ignition and how the developers took the real-life vehicles you see on the track and converted them into a digital form. While previous NASCAR games shared DNA with the likes of NASCAR Thunder titles from back in the mid-2000s, we know the fans have wanted the most realist experience possible, so NASCAR 20... Did I really just hear NASCAR Thunder comparison? <laughs> Representing the That's, real life sport and that gives me hope. The, the fact that they even make that comparison. Feel real. Ooh. The way the cars accelerate and break, running what kind of camera shot? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. I, no, I can't front, stop it yet. We'll stop, it later. Okay, we'll stop it later. okay, there's a lot to go over. Jesus However, Christ. This process of making things okay. Right wasn't I wish I could stop it right now, but I said I would do my live reaction, so there's a lot of things that I'm seeing that I need to stop. fastest on the grid, and each one is ham built. So we worked directly with NASCAR to gather detailed aero, drivetrain, suspension, and setup information nice. to make NASCAR 21 Ignition the most authentic driving experience in the market. As a player, it looks, looks like they're finally the focusing on physics. Packages on the car depending on which track you're at, so you'll see and feel. That's also nice. Between your cars on the mile and a half. I mean that that should you know be tires on obvious. The dirt at Bristol. We built this game with ultimate realism in mind. For many players, that's an ultimate prospect. realism in mind. We don't want to push mm -hmm. those away who want an experience that's as simple as picking up a controller and burning rubber. NASCAR 21 oh, hello. Edition introduces an assist mode called Novice, which lets you play with a single button, almost like slot car racing. Like what track is this? Care of the rest. If you played NASCAR Heat 5, it's like the rookie mode, and with full control over what driving assist you. What track was that? On, if you're brand new to racing and want a helping hand, or you're a veteran that's ready to dive into the deep. Ben, NASCAR 21 was that Nashville? I, I honestly, I don't recognize a lot of these tracks, so sure I'm gonna have to look that up. For our next, where we'll talk about all the detail and process of getting all the tracks in the game. See you next time. Okay. All right, there is a lot to go over. Good God. All right, this video is gonna be way longer than I thought. <laughs> all right, let's go over all this. Okay, we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna do it. Um, we're just do it live, right? You guys okay with that? No post editing. We we don't need to do that. Let's just do this live. And uh, see the parts that I want to look at. Okay, so we have a shot of Sonoma here. Um, nice brickyard. I was I was laughing at this point because they were literally they were they were trolling you guys um, because they were they were putting screenshots in the video. And we all know you guys would be very upset with that. That's been uh, some of the many complaints there. Um, here. Okay. Well, first of all, you can't drive. This camera angle seems to be zoomed. So they seem to be doing a lot of things with the camera where I can't tell what is actually the cameras that we have because this obviously is not a camera shot that we can use. It's just too zoomed. Like the depth of field and the POV is a little bit just not right. But you can see the everything in the dash is working perfectly. Uh, oil and water. 
Um, it has your current lap time right down here. Um, that is beautiful. Uh, Delta right here. If you are running multiple laps, you will have a Delta, which is nice. Um, I've always, you know, missed not having those in, in NASCAR games. I really like having the Delta so I can see what I'm doing. And it's, it just lets me know, like, what, what am I missing in what corner? Homestead, Miami, uh, Texas, a lot of just, you know, talking about the cars and stuff. Um, there was a shot. Where is it? Uh, right. Okay. So this, again, another like zoomed in shot here, uh, right here. Okay. So this is the UI. Um, let's take a, take a look at that real quick. So UI, we got time remaining. So this is a practice. This might be on the data tablet. That's what this might be. Let me move my camera so you guys can see. Um, there we go. So you guys can see the top right. So this is beautiful. This is exactly what I want to see. And here's what I mean. You have ambient temperature. You have wind speed. You have wind direction. I mean, pfft. guys, I've never seen wind speed and wind direction in a NASCAR game. Let's be, let's be real. Have you ever seen wind speed and wind, wind direction in a NASCAR game? I've never seen it. Um, ambient temperature. Has there been ambient temperature? And I know I'm not talking about NASCAR racing 2003, anything on the PC. I'm talking about console games. I don't think I've ever seen ambient temperature on the NASCAR games either. NASCAR Thunder... The old EA Sports games, NASCAR, the U Technus games, he no, I don't think I have. I don't think I've ever seen. So, so that's beautiful to me. Um, it's very clear, guys, what the focus is here. The focus is, you know, the 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 game. The I, I know that sounds kind of weird, but like it's not career mode. It's not even really multiplayer in a sense. It's the game. If the game is good, if the game has a good foundation, then that's what is um important. The fact that they're implementing wind speed to to the hundredth of the mile per hour that that's fantastic. I mean that is that is beautiful. Uh, let's hopefully that changes um how how the car is going to handle. Um, car setup you have tight, stable, and loose. Uh, the front tires will lose traction before the rear tires, and those the car will slide. Uh, I am pretty sure that there is um more detailed car setups. I I, I hope there is. I mean I would be very confused if there wasn't um so there's nothing here that shows the car setup like the detailed car setup this is just the um the basic slider um but there should be something more in depth with cambers and casters and sway bars and bump and rebound and track bar wedge tire pressures grill tape that there, that should be in the game if, if they have enough time to put ambient temperature and wind speed then we should be having um the setup i just i just don't see it so maybe this is like a um i don't know like a just a basic you know menu and then there, there is more detail but they don't show that here I'm just hoping they do eventually because that it, it would to be honest it would really suck if if there just wasn't detailed car setups that would not be good. Um, oh my God. Oh, this track makes me want to just, oh, okay. So this is Texas Motor Speedway. They did get the width right. Um, it is just, <laughs> it is just, oh God. This, listen, there's nothing this game could do to make me like Texas. All right. Texas in real life has to, you know, change for me to even think about liking it. So this terrible track that I never want to race at. They got it right though. Though That is exactly, you know, that that's a very wide turn one. So that's good there. Um, again, I don't know if they were able to scan. This doesn't look laser scanned. I'm just, I just don't know yet. New Hampshire looks good. This looks good to me. I mean, I, I like the way New Hampshire's looking. Uh, looks pretty decent to me. I like the way the cars are looking. Um, you guys are probably gonna pick up on, on the roster list, but I'm not really paying attention to that right now because, again, if you watch real life, you guys know what drivers are gonna be in the game. So I don't really mind, you know, uh, who's who. You know, what do we see? Uh, we'll get all that later on. Uh, what do we have else? Okay, so this is them creating the cockpit, and cockpit looks really good, so I like that. Uh, what else we got? This is Homestead again. They've shown a lot of Homestead. It's one of the tracks they show the most. This is nice. Aero, drivetrain, suspension, and all that information. See, when, when they're talking about aero, drivetrain, and suspension, it just makes me believe that they have to have the setups in the game. I mean, they've, they've even gotten detailed enough to where they have the little grill tape right here. So, yeah, they, they should have, you know, everything that they need to have um, in the game. Let's keep going. Was there anything else? There was a few more things. So, Daytona. I will be there Saturday if anyone, you know, if you guys want to see me. Um, or if I want to see you, I probably will be wearing a mask because I got to be careful. My dad is 67. Okay. I got to be careful. Uh, you know, that, that's a nice try. I actually will be in that infield, hopefully. Um, okay. This, this is our first look at some gameplay right here. So let's, let's break it down. Um, 
I like what. Okay, I, I gotta move my camera. <laughs> There's nothing on the top top right or top left, so we'll we'll move ourselves there. Okay, so what is oh? Mm, okay, I'm already noticing a few things. Look at the bottom right of the screen. O T two. Oh, that's oil temp and water temp. Okay, I was I was okay. I'm sorry. I was thinking of something a little bit crazy. Okay, so we have your RPM, your miles per hour. Um, in the fourth gear area, you can see B C T C S C. I think that is uh, traction control. What is SC? SC? Traction control, stability control, brake control, brake assist, something like that. It's, it's one of those. I don't know what the BC is. Uh, we have the time on the top right, lap one, best lap, last lap, current lap. No delta. Uh, hopefully there is some sort of delta up here. That would be very nice. Um, and then we have, this is the camera shot. So this camera shot right here reminds me a lot of NASCAR 09. That's what this looks like to me. I mean, look at that. That that looks like NASCAR night. Is this Nashville, guys? I'm really sorry. I, Nashville just came on the circuit. That's why I can't tell. Because I don't recognize this track. This is definitely Nashville. Am I right? Right? That is that Nashville? That has to be Nashville. <laughs> just this this has. Oh wait, does it say right down the side? Nashville Super. Okay, that's why I was like, I don't recognize this track at all. It's definitely Nashville. Okay, so let's watch this clip again. 21 Ignition introduces an assist mode called Novice. I don't know if it's with a video or what, but there's like a shaky cam element to this. Do you guys notice what I'm talking about? Robert, there's a shaky, you see, there's a shaky cam element to this. I don't know if it's the video being recorded or what, but there is like a little bit of a shaky cam. Um, and let me listen again real quick, actually. I want to listen to off throttle time. Assist mode called novice, which lets you play with a single button, almost like slot car racing, and the game takes care of the rest. If you played NASCAR Heat 5, off throttle for a good amount. The assists are on too. You can, you can see the, the assist on the bottom right of the screen. You'll see BC. Do you see that? It's it's uh, lighting up. That means he has some of the assists on. But off throttle time was a good amount here. I mean, look, we go from 175, and we're off throttle using the brakes a little bit, and you can just see how much you know that's going on there. Now, is there a throttle and brake input on the bottom right? It doesn't look like it. No, so I can't see throttle and brake input, but I like what I see here. This is a. Uh, that's that's nice the game takes care of the rest if you played nascar do you guys have any complaints i mean looking at this for like the second time i don't have any complaints um it look i i'm not driving the car so i can't feel it but this camera shot is beautiful to me nascar 9 vibes i love it this is the in nascar 9 this is the camera i always used uh and then late in later games i went to the hood view always we don't see any hood view gameplay i really think here but I like that. Again, this, I can't say this is, it is gameplay, but this isn't like what we will be playing because this is a zoomed in shot that we are just never going to see before. Um, ooh, do they have another? Oh, we're going here again. We have another shot. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize we got this again. Okay. Uh, best lap. Yeah, there is no delta on the top right. Okay. So we have a 31183. I don't know. You guys might want to do the studies on that. Is a 31183 remotely close to real life times? I don't know. You, you, you diehards, you guys do the studying. Um, okay, so we have Martinsville. This is Martinsville Night, which is beautiful. I love it. You can see the 43 of Eric Jones. He gets on the curb. That's wonderful. Do you see? Do you guys see that? Wonderful. Wonderful. E even when the car drops, it's still the 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 weight of that drop still takes the car up the track that's wonderful that's one i i don't just from what i am seeing and i can compare this to nascar heat because i remember what i saw during the nascar heat trailers the physics that i'm seeing in the trailer with the with the uh 62 crash who you guys say it's Noah grax and i say it's brennan gone who, who cares who it is but the 62 crash and just this one motion of seeing a car get up on the curbs it gets up on the curb the curbs the perfect amount that rear end slides up off a little bit the left side tires are off the ground and he slides up the track and that's AI, okay? That is AI. That is not um, that is not a, a user player. Uh, I will say the line they're taking looks a little bit weird. Like Kevin Harvick is a little bit up off the bottom. If you look in front, Kyle Busch and Chase, uh, Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin are, you know, that that's my main worry about this. I'll admit my main worry about this game is the AI because I don't. Obviously, the entire game is different, right? Which means I, I think the physics will be better. I think the game will look better. But I'll be honest. The NASCAR Heat AI were not bad. 
Like, they were actually respectable. I think that was the best part of the NASCAR Heat games. I'm not saying they're great, but they were respectable. Uh, and my, I've just seen some stuff in the trailer, and I've seen some stuff here. The AI worried me a little bit. Like, look how high Chase Elliott is up here, and a lot of these guys. Look how high they are up uh, at Martinsville. This entire lane right here should be shifted down. Like, Eric, I know Eric Jones hit the curb, but, like, Kevin Harvick should be right along the curb. Kyle Busch should be right along the curb. Kind of like where the player is right now. Should be right along the curb. So that, that worries me a little bit. I'll admit, it's just the AI. The AI are definitely... I, I'm, I'm getting a little bit worried um, with what I'm seeing there. And then, uh, again, New Hampshire. Let me actually go back to that New Hampshire shot. Just look at the AI, because I wasn't paying attention. I want to see just the lines right, they run. Okay, so... You can see we have we have a few guys all the way up there out of the three the the three lane groove. Some guys on the bottom. But do you see what I mean with the AI? Do you see they just look very they look very uh what's the word? Like like on tracks, you know? They look like they have that kind of predetermined line they have to run. It's not that they're acting kind of um, natural. That's that's my only worry right now with this game. I think the physics will be a lot better. I think the game will look a lot better. I think the cars will handle really nice. But my worry is definitely the AI because they just look a little bit. Well, you see, you see how I'm moving this, and you see how the AI are just very. They're just so stable. Look at look at how perfect they are. It's kind of train tracks. You see that? That's a little bit worrying. I'll admit. Um, again, hopefully, you know, over time, maybe they can. Fix that, or it's just the video's lying to me, and, and the gameplay is going to be a little bit different. Uh, is there anything else? I don't think so. That is it. Uh, anything that I missed? Mm, doesn't look like it. So we, we got some first look at some gameplay, which is beautiful. It's the Joey Logano scene at Nashville. That's the main one. Uh, and then some others. You know, this is the UI setup. Where is it? I, I just missed it. Did I miss it? There it is. Here, there it is. Um... Again, hoping that, you know, we have ambient track, uh, t ambient temperature, wind speed, wind direction, all that. Uh, and yeah, I, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. I think the physics are looking great. I think the game's looking good. I don't think it's looking as good as maybe I thought it would look. I think it, it looks good. It looks obviously way better than NASCAR Heat, but it still has a little bit of a saturated look, you know. I think the the saturation should be taken down just a little bit. Like Daytona, this kind of looks kind of odd, um, but this doesn't look that bad, you know. This this. Introduces an assist mode called novice. I mean the fencing. Wait, hold on. This has no. I just noticed the fencing. This is a little bit weird. Yeah, that's that's gonna give my eyes like pain forever. So I don't know if that's anti-aliasing or what, but the shadows just with the fencing, that's a little bit odd. <laughs> What's going on right there? It just hurts my brain. Um, but yeah, off throttle time, as you can see, off throttle time, a good amount of off throttle time. Even the 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 novice line is telling you how much off throttle time you have to use. So that's good. All right, guys, let me know what you think. That was uh the first. NASCAR 21 Dev Diary. There will be two more. There's going to be one on all the tracks and then something else that we don't know about. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button down below if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you not? Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We hit over 56,000 subscribers recently. Um, yeah, big, massive support. Thank you guys so much. It's almost, uh, I have to go watch the Arsenal game. Okay, so yeah, I'm missing the Arsenal game right now. All right, you guys know me. Even though they suck, I got to watch. So I'll see you guys later. Subscribe. Oh, wait, one more thing. Twitch tonight tonight all right if you made it to the end of this video i'm probably gonna put something in the beginning as well twitch i'm racing for almost a thousand dollars tonight okay on iRacing. so go watch tonight links in the description below take care of yourselves enjoy the rest of your day peace out